Do you see what we have here? This is our spinach artichoke dip turned into cheesy pull apart. It is creamy, buttery goodness that you're absolutely going to love. It is time to make it. Let's go. All right, here we go again. Another episode of Cooking with the Browns where we cook what we like, how we like. Again, on this episode, we're gonna do pull apart spinach artichoke dip. I had some spinach artichoke dip extra that I made, and so now we're gonna do something else with it today. All right, so ingredients. We have some spinach artichoke dip here. We have some mozzarella cheese, and we have some Parmesan cheese. We have some red pepper flakes, if you like them, it's to taste. And then we have our rolls here. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to grab our cast iron pan, if you use any pan you like. We're gonna try and fit as many of these rolls in here as we can. All right, let me slide this over a little bit. All right, so get that picture, there we go, boom. All right, we're gonna try and do as many as we can in here. We're gonna just try and squeeze them together. We already have our oven preheated at 350 degrees and it smells amazing in the kitchen right now because I'm making homemade strawberry jam and it is divine smelling in here. Man, it smells amazing. You just don't know how good it smells. It make you, man. I'm not gonna say my wife hated it when I say it. It'll make you wanna slap somebody or slap your mama. But, um, but so I'm not gonna say that. All right, so we wanna try and get as many in here as possible. And I'm just using your average uh, brown and serve or um, frozen um, dinner rolls or yeast rolls. And you wanna try and stuff them in there as many as you can. Right, you wanna try and try and put as many as you can in there. Should be able to fit close to about 20 or so in here. Let's see if we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm off. All right, I'm trying to just, just, put, just put them in there any kind of way you can. They gonna bake uh, the way they need to bake. I'm messing this all up, but it'll be all right. All right, so. Um, Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get 20 in there, but if you can get 20, get 20 in there, or so. 20 or so. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try and stick, stick stuff all those in there. I got enough in there. This one right here looked crazy. But I'm gonna put that in. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do a couple more. All right, so I'm gonna try and stick a couple more in here. You don't have to. You can just do however you do, but I'm gonna try and put a couple more in here. All right, boom. That's close to 20. All right, so now, now we're gonna stick our our uh, spinach artichoke dip in here that I made that was bomb, amazing. If you haven't seen that video on spinach artichoke dip, please tune in for, an, for that episode. Um, it was amazing. And we're gonna just try and put as much in here as we can, right? As much in here as we can. All right, so I think we that should be a plenty. Right, boom, and there. Trying to do as much as we can. All right. Uh. A little bit more, well, just to get the edges off. Uh, the uh, videographer, aka the wife, will tell me that I should have, I shouldn't have it looking like that on the side. So doing as much as I can. All right, boom. All right, so that's done. So now we want to throw a little bit of mozzarella cheese or over the top. Again, mozzarella cheese. Little mozza. All right. A little mozzarella cheese. I'm a fan of cheese, so. And that's about a cup, right at a cup. It'd be three quarter, but I, I'm, but I would say a cup. And then you just wanna throw you some Parmesan right on the top. The and then, again, to taste, right? Some pepper flakes. All right, and as you hear, that is my timer for my, uh, what is that? Strawberry jam going off in the back. So I gotta get to that. We just finished this. This is about to go in the oven and then we'll see you guys later. All right, so it is now time to pull it out. Doesn't that look amazing? Man, it looks good. All right, so as you can see, spinach artichoke that we already had, if you have not seen that video, go check it out. We used um, what brown and serve or, or yeast rolls, very simple, mozzarella, 
a little Parmesan red pepper flakes as you can see. And, and I'm going to go ahead and dig in and just kind of see what's going on here. Ooh, Come on. All right. Now you may just, you can pull it apart. I'm not pulling it apart. It's hot. Here we go. Oh, man. Come on. I'll do one more bite. Oh, I'm hungry, too. Man. That's it right there. That's the bite. See that? I don't even eat food super hot. I'm going to eat this real quick. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, I gotta get all this up in these taste buds. Mmm. My cheese. Okay. Here we go. Pull apart. Spinach artichoke dip. Cooking with the browns. Kicking, cooking what we like, how we like. This is amazing. You probably should try this. If you, this was smell a vision you would need to try some of this real quick. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. If you haven't yet, follow us online. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Social media. Everything you need to know is down at the bottom. Again, we'll see you next time on Cooking with the Browns.